Welcome. You can tell that there's a children's program, that the children are bringing the message because people are sitting in the front. So this is why we should have children every Sunday, right? Helping lead in worship. So I welcome to you, and I know that we have some very, very special guests. Closer. We feel it. The days are shorter. The lights burn brighter. We are listening. We are eager to hear good news. We have gathered together in the house of joy. We are here to praise God with our voices. We are here to praise God with beautiful music. We are here to praise God with all we have. Today we light the candle of joy.
That's why each year we celebrate sharing with those around us. So what is the ultimate gift? That's a good question, and what better place to learn about it than here at our Christmas service? Moving on. 
And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you, born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Hey, everybody. I was just thinking about the swabbers across the street. They're out there in the cold trying to get the cattle in where it's warm. I've never really thought about it, how people like that have to work even on Christmas. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it's time for them to receive something unexpected. Get these, give these cookies to them and lend them a hand this evening. Great idea! Great idea! I can't get angry anymore. Sure did appreciate it. Giving 
is such a blessing. What can I say? I'm a giver. <laughs> it's funny because I always thought that gifts were wrapped with paper. I'm finding out that the best gifts aren't necessarily under the tree. I know. Now we are really understanding the meaning of Christmas. Maybe we could play 
it for them. Is that too random? That's, that's the best thing about playing. Even when it's random, it's still right. Yeah, just think about the wise men. How random was it for them to travel hundreds of miles following a random star just to see Jesus and pray at his feet? Who would like to lead us in prayer? I will. I think I know what to say. Just speak from your heart. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus so that we may know what true love is. I pray that everybody who walks through these doors tonight will understand the true meaning of Christmas in every real way. We love you, God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
me to be a part of ministering to so many people tonight. I don't know. We are really understanding the meaning of Christmas. Everything seems so random to me, but now, but it all makes, but it just hit me. It all makes perfect, purposeful sense. God sent his son Jesus because of his great love for us. He had it all planned out from the very beginning. What do you mean? <laughs> Think about it. The farmers, the couple expecting a baby, praying over the people who traveled near and far to be here tonight, just like the wise men who traveled to pray over Jesus. Oh my gosh! Just like the story with the shepherds and Mary Joseph and praying over the people. Whoa! Mind blown! <laughs> it's always seemed like a random story to me. But now it all makes perfect purposeful sense. Son Jesus, because of his great love for us, he had it all planned out from the very beginning. But still, Jesus wasn't born to us. No, but that's the beauty of the story. <coughs> Jesus was born on Christmas Eve and is still alive and working through all of us today through the gift of the Holy Spirit, even through what seems to be little random acts of kindness. I think you mean random.
that was wonderful. Thank you for teaching us so much about Jesus and about what Christmas really is about. All those random acts of Christmas. And I loved how Logan helped out. We, and Hank, all of you that helped. Who else took the hands and took them down to the nursery? Eric? See, that's what we're about when being in church.